Hello friends, this is an interesting video where I would be transferring Tally's data into Google BigQuery. So what is Google BigQuery? It's a database by Google Cloud. Okay, and I would be accessing Google BigQuery data directly into Google Sheets and I'll be preparing sales register report from it into Google Sheets. And beauty of this Google BigQuery is that you don't require any installation in your machine. So it is a fully cloud based database and it is available for free of cost with some basic limit by Google. So over to my screen. Now the very first step is that you need to sign up for a Google cloud account. Okay, so your Gmail account is is only your Google Cloud account so because it is directly attached. So you can sign up for Google Cloud and BigQuery, you get a free account okay, with limits. So there is 1000 GB of data processing limit per month. So you have to always use within that limit. If you exceed, then you would be charged uh, $5. Okay. <laughs> but believe me, we would not be exceeding because exceeding it is very difficult job. Okay. And so I already demonstrated documents of how to create a database in Google BigQuery. So if you go to Tally Database Loader project and go to a folder called Docs and Google BigQuery, you would find a detailed procedure of how to create a database. So I would I create a data, database by name Tally DB. Okay, you can create by any name, but you'll have to substitute in this script a database name. So let's create it by TallyDB only. And you would also require generation of credential file. Okay, so procedure for that is demonstrated already. And you would need to download that credential file and rename it to bigquerycredentials.json. So friends, uh, let me uh, demonstrate you. So I have already done all these steps and there is a separate video you can follow on how to create this database and you can also follow this tutorial exactly and you would get this. So I am already prepared with my BigQuery credential files and I will show you already uh, my database by name TallyDB is created with our tables. Okay. So the next step is that we would input data into this. Okay. Now how to import data into Google BigQuery database. Okay. So I will go to config.json okay. and edit it. Okay. So this is the default configuration of this file. Okay. And I need to change few things. So technology would be now not MS Microsoft SQL Server. It would be big query and please notice this is case sensitive okay and once you enter big query this remaining things are dummy because big query doesn't recognize this settings it is always encrypted it has always have encrypted connections and only settings i would need to change is that tally settings so let me go to my tally so i have financial here date of 2122 okay so let me change the period so it is 21 and 21 22 14 21 to 31 3 22 let me save this file okay and moment you set this to big query so the utility is always expecting a file by name bigquery credentials.json and remember this is also case sensitive so we have to the file name has to be exact because YouTube it will be exactly scanning this file and utilizing credentials stored inside this to connect to your bigquery data okay now my let me check my tally is running already okay now let me run the utility and synchronize the data into bigquery database okay so I will double click this run dot bat so it is so it's generating csv files and then it would be uploading this csv files into google bigquery database okay, so csv files generated now it is being imported let's wait for it to import 
So it would time taken would be dependent on the volume of data you have in the tally. So let's wait for this utility to complete. And after the data gets imported, uh, we will check the preview of the data. Okay. And let's try to on sampling basis match some data. Okay. Utility disk loading is complete and error log is zero KB. That means data is fully loaded. Okay. Let's go to Google BigQuery and check for the data. So let's say, uh, let's check ledger table. So I'll click on the ledger table. And let's have a preview of the data. Okay, let's see. So there are 15 and 1534 rows, 1534. Let me go to tally and let's go to statistics and check. Yes, 1534 lasers, 28 groups. Okay, if you go to group table, we have 28 groups. Preview. Okay, and let's check for number of vouchers. So 3146 voucher in tally. Let's check. So I'll go to table called TRN voucher and check the preview. The data. Okay, 3146. So we have full data loaded means transaction plus master data into Google BigQuery. Okay. Now let's see how to import this data into Google Sheet. Okay. So now if I need to prepare sales register, so there is an uh, already SQL query which I have provided you in the project. Okay. So we will try to ru run this query first into Google BigQuery and check the output. And then we will run this query from Google Sheet to grab the data from BigQuery. Okay. So, so if you go to the project page, let me go to project home page, database loader, reports, and BigQuery. Okay, so I have already included SQL queries for a few of the reports, like sales registers. This is our query. So I will copy this SQL query. Okay, select and copy this. And let's paste this query into Google BigQuery and try to run this. got this output now you would be wondering is this a sales sister no so this is not exactly a sales sister but this output will help us to prepare a sales sister using pivot table in google sheets okay now let me go to my google drive so i already my open my google drive created a folder for it and let me create a google sheet for this so i'll go to Google Sheets and create a new Google Sheet. Let me rename this. Let's say Sales Sister. You can rename anything. Okay. Now this SQL query. Okay, this SQL query. Sorry, this SQL query. I will copy this and I will grab the data. So I would go to Data tab, Connectors, and if you notice, connect to BigQuery. So Google Sheets can directly connect to your BigQuery data source. Now, if I go here, so I have project by name Excel Kida, and inside that I have a database called TallyDB. Okay, so Excel Kida and database TallyDB. Okay. Now I write I would write a custom SQL query, write a custom SQL query. Okay. So let's paste this SQL query and somewhere click on any of the table. Okay. So that we get a connect button here. Okay. Now let's click connect button and execute this SQL query.
let's wait first time it might take a few seconds load okay great data is loaded let's get okay so our data is already loaded so this is let's say i will say sales data this is a sales data not a sales register and the pivot table we would prepare from this would be sales register Once, let's start creating our pivot table okay so i would click on the pivot table and new sheet okay now you can see this window if you cannot see this window again try deleting this pivot table and recreate it until you get a window like this okay now let's start dragging the things okay now party name date and voucher number so let me drag first let's say dates into the rows dates then voucher number let let's try from here date then voucher number okay voucher type and our party name okay. in values we need to add amount okay and in columns we need to add ledger names okay ledger name we need to add in columns let's click apply and check for our pivot table So friends, you can see a pivot table being created, prepared like this okay. with various name and friends this way you can prepare and let's say I want to repeat uh, dates. Okay. So repeat low level, row level. Okay. This way, even this will be repeated. RT name and we have now perfect uh, sales sister type report or almost equivalent to a tally one now friends next things remain that how to automatically synchronize this data okay so there are two steps in first synchronization you would be required to synchronize this data from tally into google bigquery so you can go to windows task scheduler and automatic automate this so if you go here and write task scheduler okay task scheduler you can automate a task scheduler let me quickly show you how you can automate a task scheduler so i will go here create a task okay and let's say uh, triggers the new okay daily let's say i want to repeat this task every three hours okay three hours and uh, let's say start it from nine o'clock nine o'clock in the morning and every three hours keep on repeating daily okay and in the action so you need to go to utility folder okay I will copy paste this path okay and we need to run script called run dot bat okay and copy paste this folder name with one more last slash here okay yeah i would need to enter task name okay so sync tally tally to bigquery okay seeing tally to bigquery so this task would automatically run at nine o'clock twelve o'clock three o'clock okay this way it would keep on running automatically okay and next thing we would require automatic refresh of data from bigquery to google sheet so if you go here in the sales data sheet okay you have 
refresh option and schedule refresh. So if you want to manually refresh, you can refresh, click and manually refresh all. And let's say if you want to automatic schedule a refresh, refresh of this data. So you can similarly set up a refresh. So let's say nine o'clock, we are synchronized data from tally to BigQuery. So probably I would say 10 o'clock and repeat every every hour. Okay, 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock. So we would schedule another refresh of synchronizing from BigQuery to Google Sheet. So automate, so nine o'clock, it would be refreshing your uh, tally data and 10 o'clock, the same data would be re reflected into your Google Sheets. So you can similarly apply schedules for automatic refreshing of your Google Sheets sales history. Okay, so that's it. If you like this technique, please do like the video and subscribe the YouTube channel.